I know you just got done playing and probably want to catch a shower, so I'll keep this brief. I'm with the Bobcats, and we're picking ninth in the upcoming draft. We love what we saw in you tonight and want to ask you some questions to see how well you would fit in with us. Question number one. Well, it's true that our team has a lot of needs. I really feel like a small forward to build around is what would help us the most at this point. I'm going to be looking at all of the available wings in the draft, but I really wanted to get the chance to talk to you first. I just love your game. Tell me, what can you provide to the Charlotte Bobcats? So anyways, what's going on guys? It's Cole here from 2K Cheese, and today I'm going to be answering the questions that the scouts ask me uh, in person, and then my my player will answer them for you guys. So the first one is... How am I gonna do for the? What am I gonna do for the Charlotte Bobcats? Well, plain and simple, I'm gonna give you lots of championships and a Hall of Famer. So, next question. Well, I can provide an honest player who's gonna give 110% every night. I'm a player that the team and community can get behind. I make plays. I don't make noise off the court, and I enjoy facilitating the play rather than making. Not too many people can look you in the eye and tell you that last one. Look, above all, I want to win, and I'll do whatever it takes to make that happen. All right, then. One more. As a younger team, I feel like we have a lot of opportunities for you. I'm here to tell you that you have a chance to be our franchise centerpiece if you put in the work. How many other teams can offer you that? That being said, we still have a couple of years ahead of us where we're going to be acquiring young talent and assets. We might struggle a bit in those years. Are you going to be able to remain focused during the rebuilding years? You know, I'm really digging the Charlotte Bobcats, and I'd love to win a championship for you guys. So, yeah, I mean, I would definitely, definitely wait in those rebuilding years on one condition that you guys keep rebuilding the team and don't just sit there and do nothing or make the team worse. So, yeah. Mm, I've never really lost in my entire life. I've always been good enough to propel every team I've ever been on to success. I realize the NBA will be different in that regard, at least at the start of my career. This will really test my patience, but as a man, I'm up for the challenge. That's great. Those answers were music to our ears. With any luck, you'll fall to us in the draft. Thanks for taking the time to answer my questions. We're picking seventh in the upcoming draft and are very interested in what you bring to the table. All right, let's get to it. We realize that here in Sacramento, we don't have the appeal of a Los Angeles or a New York or Chicago. We tend to look for players who would be proud to be part of this organization. Someone who can really take pride in being a member of the Sacramento Kings. Someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a member of the Kings. Are you that person? Okay, first off, I would love to play for Sacramento. First of all, they're they're in Cali, which is an awesome place to live. Second off, they have DeMarcus Cousins and Tyreek Evans, who are two great, you know, young upcoming players. And third of all, I don't think they have a championship. So I mean, it'd be awesome to win the Sacramento Kings' first championship with me being the superstar. So yes, I am definitely that player. Yeah, I would be honored to be a member of this organization. From everything I've seen, you guys have a rabid fan base out in Sacktown. I'd love to be a leader on this team for the next decade. Okay, last question. Do you feel pressure to be good right away in this league? Surprisingly, I do not. I know I'm gonna have to, you know, learn from my teammates and and get some advice from them and also you know I'm gonna have to practice and get all my skill points up as a gamer so yeah no pressure at all nah I won't feel any pressure to be good right away I understand the NBA has the greatest basketball players in the world I get that there'll definitely be a learning curve to the level of play here I'll adjust in time and when I do adjust watch out baby Thanks so much for your time. I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but we would be ecstatic if you're still on board when it's our turn to pick. Hello, I'm the head scout for the Golden State Warriors. I want you to know that we're strongly considering you based on your performance tonight with our first round pick, 11th overall. We'd like to get to know you a little better before committing to you. I'm sure you understand. 
We have a couple of questions, if you don't mind. This team has a lot of momentum right now. We went through a rough stretch and had some recent draft picks that didn't work out. With guys like Monte, Stephen Curry, and David Lee, we really feel like we're on the up and up. We like what we've seen out of you, but how do you see yourself fitting in with the team? Honestly, I could fit in with your team, but I don't know. I just don't feel like, I don't feel the, the vibe from, from Oakland. So I'm going to have to turn down this offer to go to the Golden State Warriors. Look, you got some great young players on your roster, but I got to keep it real here, man. I really don't see it working out between me and you. I'm looking to jump into a winning situation, and you guys in Oakland don't exactly have a history of that. It's nothing personal. I just need to do me, baby. Know what I mean? Let's see. One more question, if you don't mind. This is a question we ask all our potential draftees, and I want you to answer it as honestly as possible. Where do you see your career going? What do you hope to achieve out of your career? Ultimately, what do you want your legacy to be? That is the easiest question in the whole world. I would obviously like to be the best player to ever win the game, to ever play the game, not win the game, and win multiple championships and become an all-star. Me? I want to be the greatest of all time. If anyone answers you differently, well, they're either lying to you or they don't have the competitive fire to be great. I don't want to be great. I want to be the greatest. I want rings. I want MVP awards. All of those accolades. I want people to talk about me 50 years from now. And they will. Just watch, man. I've got the fire. I've got the drive. And you know what? I'm ready. Well, that didn't go quite as I expected. We'll see you at the draft.